Have you ever wondered how complex software systems are managed? The answer is through a concept called abstraction. Imagine you're trying to grasp the workings of an intricate clock. Rather than focusing on each tiny gear and spring, you'd first understand its general functions. The hour hand tells the time, the minute hand indicates the minutes, and the second hand ticks away the seconds. This is the essence of abstraction in software engineering, simplifying complex systems by concentrating on the essential characteristics and hiding unnecessary details. Abstraction is a key player in the software engineering field. It's like a magic wand that developers wield to transform a labyrinth of complexity into a manageable structure. With abstraction, they can create models, interfaces, and high-level representations that capture the critical aspects of a system without getting entangled in the nitty-gritty details. Let's break down the concept of abstraction into digestible parts. First, we have generalization. Picture it as the process of finding common threads among multiple entities and weaving them into a more abstract generalized concept. It's like recognizing a common pattern in different songs and creating a new genre. This allows developers to create reusable components, frameworks and libraries that encapsulate shared functionality. Next, we have encapsulation. This is all about hiding a component's internal details and only exposing the necessary interfaces or abstractions. It's like a chef in a restaurant kitchen. You enjoy the meal without knowing the recipe or the cooking process. This promotes modularity, information hiding and separation of concerns, simplifying the management of complexity and maintainability. Then we have modularity, data abstraction, procedural abstraction and interface abstraction, each playing a unique role in simplifying, managing and improving the software development process. Abstraction not only simplifies complex systems, but also brings a host of benefits like reusability, flexibility, adaptability, and scalability. It's like a superhero in the world of software engineering, helping developers combat the villain of complexity. With abstraction, developers can create models, interfaces, and representations that capture essential aspects of a system without getting bogged down in minutiae. So the next time you marvel at a complex software system, Remember the superhero behind the scenes, abstraction. One of the key aspects of abstraction is generalization. So what's the big deal about generalization? Well, it's pretty important in software engineering. It's all about identifying common patterns, behaviors, or characteristics among various entities. Then we represent these commonalities using a more abstract, generalized concept. Imagine you're trying to solve a complex problem. Instead of getting tangled up in the specifics of each individual element, you can focus on the shared traits. This way, you're not reinventing the wheel every single time you come across a similar situation. Now, this process of generalization allows developers to create reusable components. These could be frameworks, libraries, or any other elements that encapsulate common functionality. Let's say you're building a mobile app. You might need certain features like user authentication, data storage, or push notifications. Instead of coding these features from scratch for every new app, you can create generalized components that can be reused. These components not only save time and effort, but also ensure consistency and reliability across different applications. It's like having a toolkit of tried and tested tools that you can rely on. And the best part, you can share these tools with other developers, contributing to a collaborative and efficient software development environment. Thus, generalization supports reusability and simplification of software development. And that, my friends, is the magic of generalization in abstraction. It's a key player in making our lives as software engineers a lot more manageable. Two other crucial aspects of abstraction are encapsulation and modularity. Let's start with encapsulation. Picture this. You have a treasure chest full of precious gems. Would you leave it open for everyone to see and touch? Of course not. You'd lock it up and only provide a key to those who need access. This is the essence of encapsulation in software engineering. It's like a protective barrier that hides the internal details of a component or module, exposing only the necessary interfaces or abstractions. This not only safeguards the integrity of the code, but also prevents unwanted interference. It's like saying, here's what I can do for you, but how I do it is none of your business. This approach promotes information hiding and separation of concerns, making it easier to manage complexity and maintainability. 
Now, let's move on to modularity. Imagine you're building a Lego castle. You wouldn't attempt to build the whole castle in one go, would you? Instead, you'd break down the task into smaller, manageable parts, like building the walls, towers and gates separately. This is exactly what modularity is about in software engineering. It involves decomposing a system into smaller, manageable units or modules, each representing a distinct functionality or feature. This allows developers to focus on individual components independently, making it easier to understand, develop, test and maintain the system. It's like saying, let's tackle this one piece at a time. This approach not only makes the task more manageable, but also promotes code reuse and system flexibility. With encapsulation and modularity, managing complexity and maintainability becomes a breeze. But remember, these are just two of the many aspects of abstraction. As we delve deeper, we'll uncover more facets of this fundamental concept in software engineering. So stay tuned as we continue to unravel the secrets of abstraction. The remaining aspects of abstraction include data abstraction, procedural abstraction, and interface abstraction. Let's start with data abstraction. This is a process that involves representing data using abstract data types, also known as ADTs. But what does this mean? Well, it means that the underlying implementation details are hidden away. Instead, developers can manipulate data at a higher level of abstraction, without needing to understand the internal representation or algorithms. This simplification allows for a clean, efficient approach to data management. Next, we have procedural abstraction. This is a technique that involves representing algorithms and procedures using high-level constructs. Again, the low-level implementation details are concealed. The beauty of this approach is that it allows developers to focus on the logic and flow of control, rather than the specific instructions or machine-level operations. It's like being the conductor of an orchestra, focusing on the overall performance, without needing to play every instrument. Finally, let's talk about interface abstraction. This technique involves defining clear, well-defined interfaces that specify how components interact with each other. It's a bit like setting the rules for a game. Everyone knows how to play and what to expect. This promotes loose coupling, flexibility and interoperability, because components can communicate through these well-defined contracts. It's a nifty way to ensure all the parts of a system can work together harmoniously. In essence, these types of abstraction, data, procedural and interface, are about simplifying and structuring the way we approach software engineering. They help us to manage complexity by focusing on the essential details and hiding the rest. It's a bit like the old saying, can't see the forest for the trees. With abstraction, we can see the forest, the big picture, without getting lost in the trees. So in a nutshell, that's what abstraction is all about. Whether it's data, procedures or interfaces, the goal is the same to simplify, to clarify, and to make our lives as developers a bit easier. With these aspects of abstraction, developers can focus on the logic and flow of control, rather than the specific instructions or machine-level operations. Now that we understand the aspects of abstraction, let's look at its benefits. Through the lens of software engineering, abstraction is like the Swiss Army knife, multifaceted and versatile in managing complexity. It's the process of simplifying complex systems by focusing on the essential characteristics and tucking away the unnecessary details. By doing so, it turns a convoluted mess into a comprehensible model, interface, or representation. This focus on the essential aspects of a system, rather than getting swamped in the nitty-gritty, is what makes abstraction such a crucial tool in software development. Now, imagine having to reinvent the wheel every time you need one. Sounds exhausting, right? Thankfully, abstraction promotes reusability. It allows developers to create generalized components, frameworks and libraries that encapsulate common functionality. By doing this, we can reuse these components in different contexts, saving time, energy and resources while maintaining consistency. Next up, we have flexibility and adaptability. Picture this, you're trying to replace a single piece of a massive, interconnected puzzle. Without abstraction, changing one piece could mean disrupting the entire setup. But with abstraction, we can modify or replace components without affecting other parts of the system, thanks to the hiding of implementation details and decoupling of components. This makes the software more flexible and adaptable to changes, ensuring it can evolve as needs and technologies shift. Last but certainly not least, abstraction facilitates scalability. 
In the ever-changing landscape of software engineering, scalability is key. A system that can't grow and expand to meet increasing demands is like a fish trying to swim upstream. It's only a matter of time before it gets exhausted. Abstraction provides a structured, modular design that can accommodate growth and expansion. It's a bit like building with Lego blocks. You can keep adding more blocks as needed without disrupting the overall structure. In conclusion, abstraction is a powerful tool in software engineering that simplifies complex systems, making them more understandable, maintainable, and adaptable. It's the secret source that helps developers manage complexity, promote reusability, increase flexibility and adaptability, and facilitate scalability. So whether you're a seasoned developer or a newbie on the block, Understanding and using abstraction can make your coding journey a whole lot smoother.